hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to show uh, some kind of register reports and to record uh, to record uh, this kind of uh, video is we are uh, processing some queries and queries which are based on the some uh, latent confusion that system uh, does not have this kind of report and but uh, in the inbuilt bc and navigation system system have this kind of report so i want to uh, spread the awareness that uh, system has this kind of report which is very basic reports like registers like daily basis transactions report like gl register like day book so i'm going to show you the simple basic report see we have uh, the registers how many kind of registers gl registers job register this is uh, for the costing purpose and vat register where uh, this is applicable and uh, uh, item registers if you want to check item basis transactions cost registers vendor registers you can check all the vendor entries if you want to see this report if you want to view this report you can check you can able to check the vendors wise entries uh, in a layout in a register look layout report next voucher registers most important about source register customer register insurance register if you are using fixed assets and you are assigning insurance uh, resource uh next item register warehouse registers maintenance register if you are uh, maintaining fixed assets and you are regular uh, maintain maintenance services tcs chalan register if you want to check fixed assets register another most important report fixed asset register so these all all these are the reports register reports bank account register reports cost budget register report item register credit transfer register report and inventory movement registered inventory movement was from one location to another from one bin to another bin this is the inventory movement uh, if you are using the warehouse concept this is most important report for uh, the inventory movement your picking point your uh, put away point c next the register warehouse picks report vat registration batch related report and uh, put away movement resource price resource capacity posted physical inventory list show this kind of register reports but the most important report is sometimes uh, for the fixed assets user it is fixed assets register and most commonly used report is CL register. Here you can check all the posted entries. Either they were posted from sales, purchase, finance, or from any any module in the BC. You can check. And if you want to assign any particular module at particular document or a specific voucher type, you need to assign the source code filter here. You can check see uh, the register reports start from the numbers and the entry numbers and if you assign the source code you need to assign a filter here and filter name is source code the most important filter source code if I want to check only the bank payment voucher entries I can only select the bank payment voucher source code and if you want to check the sales entries just assign the code sales this is uh, this will work on the basis of code and description will provide the detail name of the code so most commonly the general voucher bank payment bank received voucher GST settlement, credit adjustment entries, fixed asset journals, all posted entries you can check from here. As if you don't want to assign any kind of filter, you can check all the posted transactions. And if you want to check 
a single document type assign the source code and view the report and you can also assign the date filter here so if you don't want to see the multiple pages multiple uh, time taking report you can just assign creation date or you can assign uh, some kind of other post uh, date related uh, filters like document or uh, posting date but we can assign here a simple uh, thing that we are assigning the creation date so you can uh, put your date range or date and just click on preview and if you don't want to assign any kind of source code document type leave it blank and click on preview system will show you all the transactions all all the posted transaction because you haven't assigned any module any document type any date so see the report layout is GL register I'm using the demo company Kronos uh, register this is separated into the register wise and the register number you can check the register number you can check the register number and minimize the report register number one for the 14th of January register number two uh, which are separated into uh, another uh, another invoice and payment type and uh, this is also includes for the date of 14th so check why this is separated because in the register one we haven't include any document type we were used the blank document type because we don't want to assign any kind of uh, document type parameter for uh, to post any entry to uh, restrict any entry we can assign a document type parameter but sometimes to post the some adjustment entries we don't assign any parameter of document type so system will allow you to post without any uh, firing any validation to us so uh, without uh, the document type parameter the blank document type and next with the document type of invoice or payment and with all the details like date document number GL account number GL account name you can check the scenario of the entries so next is if you if you had posted the line narration you can also check with uh, the line uh, narration and next uh, the with the posting types next with the amount and minus sign will always show the credit amount this is the concept of the software so you can check your register wise uh, entries all the posted entries sales purchase inventory you can check with the document type number and date this is the GL register format so you can check and you can directly go to the uh, last page if you want to go to the last page and if you want to take a printout you can also take a printout using the print option so now uh, with this report I'm also going to show you the another most preferable report to check the daily basis transactions and the daily basis transactions in the accounting there is a concept we are uh, we are using continuously uh, generals from the starting of the accounting concept that uh, we had started with the normal recording transactions and to you to um, to record this transaction we we were used um, journals and uh, we can uh, we can uh, put it in uh, by uh, our bookkeeping systems and to maintaining this we uh, recorded these transactions and in the journals using a register and uh, to record the daily basis transaction sometimes we also call uh, this uh, journals as a day book and uh, because uh, we recorded this, these transactions in a day basis in a chronological order and uh, 
in our company in and in our organization how many transactions post uh, transaction were posted in a day uh, in the frequency uh, in the frequency level we recorded in uh, the book all the transaction we we had recorded all the transaction in a book but after the recording of the transactions on a day basis the next step to transfer this uh, transactions transactions of purchasing savings or uh, anything which we recorded in a debit credit mode in a chron chronological order after recording in the channels we uh, we were shifted this transaction to the ledgers individual ledgers to map the uh, income and expenses to the financials so purpose of the recording of the transactions to check all the day basis transactions how many transaction were posted how many transaction were recorded and what are the criteria and frequency of that transactions so all the thing we need to check in a simple way with a report which is called day book we need to check this report you can assign the narration and you can also assign the posting date the source code the most commonly uh, parameter used by me um, is this is always be a source code because i can assign the particular parameter which voucher type i need to check bank cash sales purchase finance fixed assets i can assign anything and the second if you want to check with the source code number see multiple parameters are there you can assign your own based on requirement and source number will be show you after the assigning the source code source code is the uh, uh, is the shortest form to identify any kind of voucher type and on the basis of that you can assign your uh, source number if you don't have you can just assign your source code and system will show you the uh, document type with the details so if you don't want to check with the any specific condition remove uh, the filter and if you want to assign posting date you can assign here if you have remember the post document number you can also define here if you don't have any kind of information but you want to check the day book you can leave all the field blanks and you can also check the format of the report but with all the included dates if you posted entry from the last year to till date and if you had posted all with including the future date it it this will also include all the dates so it will show with the 70 pages i'm just going i'm just going to show you the report layout and to increase it see the report layout the date the document number the account name the debit credit mode to uh, balance uh, the uh, the transaction voucher type inventory the post ent inventory entry and this is a um, balance with the debit credit ledgers debit credit amount so this is the simple and finest recording way of uh, debit credit mode you can say the double entry mode system we are using here the double entry mode system to record a simple transaction either uh, this is from sales or purchase or any kind of uh, document type you can check your th your channels here so you can check all the transactions all the document number the amount and the basis in the basis of day book next report will be the ledger report 
we can also check the individual report of ledger after viewing the day book because day book is stored all the posted transaction on a daily basis so this is the daily basis transactions report you can check how many transaction you were posted in a day with assigning a posting date filter to view this report now to go back you can also check the ledger report so this kind of report you can also check the print details the narration to see the printed uh, voucher narration you can check the print voucher narration option and if you don't want to assign date filter you can preview and close see this is uh, dependent on a date so we need to check again if you if i have the date i can check this report so i can try if i have the data for this period yeah i have so we can check our ledger report also after checking the day book now data is not there but we can check the format of the report because i haven't posted any entry in this particular period see one entry i i found one entry is there and to minimize the report yeah this is here receipt item ledger and in the next 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 you can check uh, um, the next pages uh, you can check the next ledgers by clicking the next option so we are in the 13th page and date filter is there uh, ledger report name is there date is there company name is there and the report layout is uh row and column wise and the posting date is come first then document number account name with the including opening balance also then the voucher type then the debit and credit amount and at the last you can check with the balance see this is the uh, report layout and i i think this is the best report layout you can check it out and thanks for watching